Earlier today, I unboxed the new Microsoft Surface Pro 8. I spent the entire day using this Surface and I have some thoughts. I went with the i7 256GB of storage and 16GB of RAM model, initially almost buying the Surface Laptop Studio before changing my mind. I also picked up the corresponding signature Microsoft keyboard with the all new Slim Pen 2. The keyboard as well as the Slim Pen 2 will also work with the Surface Pro X, not just the Pro 8, which is also nice. I went with the Graphite Pro 8, just something different from the standard silver model. It looks sleek while attracting fingerprints of course, but I still prefer this color. The case is also in a matching graphite with a soft Alcaterra front cover, curious how that holds up long term. Then of course, you have that Surface Pro kickstand we've grown to love over the years from the other surfaces. And now that we have all the standard stuff out of the way, let's talk about the Surface Pro 8 setup and what that experience was like. Now while it doesn't take long to start enjoying the hardware that the Surface Pro 8 offers, Make sure you're comfortable when you're ready to dive into the setup because you are going to be here for a while in order to get this fully set up. Throughout the setup, you're going to have a few sections where it actually runs some updates and through those updates, it's going to reboot a few times. I think at least twice initially just to get the full Surface Pro set up. Now the nice thing is you are getting Windows 11 on launch day right out of the box with this device, which is pretty nice to see. But again, you're going to have to sit through and go through all of these updates to ensure you have truly the latest and greatest of Windows 11 since it did launch on October 5th, 2021 today, the same day that these surfaces were brought to the market. Now I'm pretty familiar with Windows 11, having Windows 11 on my Samsung Galaxy Book 360. I've enjoyed the Samsung Galaxy Book 360 along with Windows 11 and I'm kind of curious to see how these two devices compare since they are pretty similar overall. Setting up something like Windows Hello for example was very fast very fluid with no issues you can see the camera doing its thing and it sets up pretty quickly recognizing my face. Following that setup, you're going to have to run through a few tutorials about Windows 11. And as you can kind of see there on my screen, there's a loading bar there at the bottom. You're going to have a progress bar like that for quite some time as this thing updates. Now I'm on a one gigabyte network, so I have pretty fast speeds and this does have Wi-Fi 6 on board. So from a connectivity standpoint, I think it's pretty solid, but it's going to take a while still to run all of these updates that are necessary for you to have that truly immersive Windows 11 experience here on the new Surface Pro 8. So while that continues to update, I did want to talk a little bit about the power cable and power adapter that you do get in the box with the Surface Pro 8. So you can use USB Type-C to charge the device if you prefer, or you can use this provided cable from Microsoft right in the box, which does have that interesting you know magnetic uh, kind of back in the day reminiscent mag safe from Apple type of feel um, it's nice that it's magnetic because it does quickly uh, detach from the device if you trip over it I might have done that a few times already today and it does you know detach from the device which is really nice to see since it's not hardwired in there and then you also have USB port right there on the actual charging port which is nice to have as well if you're you know in an office space and you need you know an additional port it's nice that it's available there but it would be nice to see uh, maybe a USB type C port on there also but it is what it is again it's magnetic it connects really quickly to the side here of the Surface Pro and charges yeah looks pretty nice overall I think it's just an interesting cable though to see Microsoft still including that with the Surface Pro lineup. Now, a little bit about the keyboard. I really like this keyboard. The travel is really nice. Not only that, the new trackpad is very clicky and it's larger than the previous keyboards on the other Surface lineup devices. So I'm really liking this overall keyboard and it doesn't flex that much, which is also really nice. When you're pressing down here on the keys in the middle, there's really little to no flex. And as you can see here, I'm kind of pressing on it. You can see it's bending a little bit, but it's just from the overall press of the keyboard but when you're in full typing mode typing super fast emails etc you're gonna have no issues with the keyboard sliding or moving now that we're finally almost through all the updates really excited to just jump right into the surface pro 8 and get it set up to my liking with all my applications I'm looking forward to using Adobe Premiere Pro on here as well as Photoshop and it's really fast and fluid how quickly you're diving right into Windows 11 and getting that Windows 11 experience. So really nice to see Microsoft really pushing Windows 11 forward and hopefully we'll see some really cool stuff out of Windows 11 in the long term. But only time will tell to see how well Microsoft optimizes this for other devices also. 
So out of the box, this is gonna be set to 60 Hertz, but this is a 120 Hertz display. So I definitely recommend going into the settings and changing this to 120 Hertz right out of the box. So that way you get that faster refresh rate. It's right in the advanced display settings, 60 Hertz to 120 Hertz. Now going back to that build, I've really enjoyed that kickstand throughout the day, being able to adjust it to all different levels, whether I'm sitting so it's on my lap or I'm on the desk so I can adjust it at different heights. It's really nice to have that kickstand and the overall alignment of it is really solid. No concerns, no issues at all with the durability of that hinge. I do have to say the back of this is pretty warm just from the initial setup, but not super hot. Again, I really like that soft cover. I think most people buying these surfaces are probably gonna opt for the keyboard. And I really wish Microsoft would include this keyboard and kind of get the edge on somebody like Apple, who you also have to buy the you know keyboard accessory separate from. It would just be really nice to see Microsoft start to include it with the Surface Pros, but I think that's a different topic for a different day. But overall, one of the coolest things I think on here is the removable SSD. Basically all you need is a, well, SIM ejector tool, and I have plenty here uh, to remove this so you can access the uh, SSD there quickly on the back if you wanna upgrade. It's also nice from a security standpoint, you can quickly remove that SSD from the back of your device, and then the cover there quickly goes back on. Now from the overall build standpoint, again, I'm pretty impressed with this. I've had this Surface Pro 6. I never owned the Surface Pro 7. So it's kind of nice testing out this Surface Pro 8 to kind of see how far it's come. Seeing those USB type C Thunderbolt ports there on the side, really nice addition. Then you also have that, you know, kind of strange charging port there, but it's nice to see those two USB type C ports. On the other side, you're just gonna have the volume rockers and a headphone jack. There's no additional Thunderbolt or USB type C or USB type A for that matter port on this device. The only USB type A that you're gonna get is the one on that power cable that I showed you. And then you're going to get those two USB type C ports there on the side. Flipping open the Surface Pro 8, I'm really impressed with how responsive the display is. The keyboard, again, going back to that, I really like the overall travel. I like typing on this. I like the trackpad a lot. It's really smooth. It's nice to have that larger trackpad and the keys are very clicky, but very solid for long-term typing, typing up a lot of emails today. Now we have that new Slim Pen 2 from Microsoft, which feels really nice in the hand. Double clicking the top opens up the Microsoft whiteboard so you can quickly get into drawing or taking notes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 500 subscribers looking forward to getting the channel to a thousand soon and always thank you for your support now drawing on here feels really good with the built-in haptics being able to flip the pen around quickly erase like all of the pens before it but the haptics i have to say feel really nice it does almost feel like you're writing on paper so it's a pretty unique experience and you can dial down or you can even increase the haptics in the settings if you prefer but i'm pretty impressed with what microsoft has done there the cameras now on the surface pro are pretty solid especially for video calls with that 1080p camera but when you are actually taking photos it's well not the best but again taking photos with a tablet there's you know never really the best anyways here's the rear camera so you can kind of see what the camera quality looks like on the rear camera of the surface pro 8 again not the best and this is in some pretty bright lighting overall but if you need to take a picture in a pinch and you don't have another device it might work out for selfies with that selfie camera on the front facing, it's not that great. I think it's five megapixels. Uh, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong in the comments, but five megapixels, it's not the best for shooting photos in the front. Now watching content consuming media on this 120 Hertz display is really nice. Scrolling is a breeze, it's very smooth. And watching content, I have to say, looks very crispy. Not only that, the speakers on this Surface Pro 8 are insanely bassy, they're really good and really loud. Here's a quick sample now of the speakers. And of course, having the Xbox application here on the Surface Pro 8, you're able to play games. You can also utilize PC Game Pass, which is really nice. You also get free Game Pass for a trial period. I also got this Xbox remote 
free with my bundle that I purchased from Best Buy when picking up the Surface Pro 8. I do have to note though, if you are looking to game heavily and install games, make sure you opt for a larger storage option. As you can see here, trying to install one game, it really hinders the storage, but you do have access to cloud gaming, which is also really nice. And I have to say it's been really smooth, not just on the Surface Pro 8, but really any device that I've tried Microsoft's cloud gaming on, it works really well. No issues pairing the Xbox remote to the Surface Pro is also really smooth. Jumping into some Forza just to kind of get an idea of the overall performance. This is the perfect game to test some of the performance out just to see how the overall graphics work and just overall how does the Surface Pro 8 perform with the cloud gaming in mind and it performs really well. Playing this game for a while today, it's been really solid, really smooth. I'll have to play some other games though in my long term review to really see how it holds up, especially with multitasking in mind and other activities, but so far pretty good for gaming. So I'm actually editing this very video here on the Surface Pro 8 that you're watching and the performance has been very smooth using Adobe Premiere Pro. No issues, no lag, especially in 4K playback. It's been incredibly smooth. I'm really impressed with the overall performance of the Surface Pro 8 so far. And just overall in general, really impressed with the Surface Pro 8. I'm really liking this device. It's, you know, pretty unique, especially coming from, like I said, the Surface Pro 6 jumping into the Surface Pro 8. It's a pretty big upgrade. I'm I haven't had the Surface Pro 7, so I can't speak to that, but it's a really solid device from Microsoft and I'm looking forward to putting it through its paces. Let me know your thoughts though in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe for more Surface content coming soon. Thank you, take care and stay safe.